Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Plays Emerge, episode number four. The series where the saltiest bird you've ever known has the worst luck imaginable. How? Well, using this right here, this explore feature. I know what you're going to say, Falcon. I thought you said you weren't going to use it anymore. Well, yes, I did say that, but obviously I have to use it on occasion. What am I going to do? Just maintain weapons every turn and end turn? I can do that. I got to, like, you know, roll the dice. Of course, every time I roll dice, I get nothing but snake eyes. So hopefully today we have some better luck. Let's start off with it. Let's start off with it right now. You know, it's like a bandit. Just pull it off right now, Doctor. You enter a grimy bar for a quick drink, leaving your overcoat and utility belt on the chair next to you. Paying a visit to the toilet becomes an inevitable necessity, and as you return, you notice some items missing from your possessions. You lost one fucking grenade. <sighs> it's cool. It's cool. Just, just breathe. Breathe in. Breathe out. We're fine. Okay, that was just one grenade. It's not the end of the world. I found a piece of equipment. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, okay, now that's better. We found a production module, not only level 1 or 2, level 3, motherfuckers. It's plus 15 production, which is a lot better than... Oh, actually, oh, production, yes! Even better, that means more turrets. Absolutely, I want that. Hey, hey, you, you get over here. You hang out over there, I guess, I don't care. Yeah, you are my friend. You come over here. Yeah, it's cool. Alrighty, good. Better. Somewhat. Production points. There we go. Make some turrets. Oh, <laughs> thank God. Speaking of which, turrets-wise, we were looking pretty bad there. Uh, last episode, we got attacked twice in one turn. So our turrets held up the first one, and then the second assault was not enough for the turrets, so they went down. We had to finish it off. Luckily, you know, they maintained enough for us to not have a hard time with it. But now we're running into the burning zombies, and those motherfuckers do not mess around. They are fast. Fast. Flash burning zombies fast as hell. Uh, let's do another stroll. Let's continue the luck here. Come on. My infrastructure has been... This is like a running gag at this point. Essentially what's happened now is this is the second time within this episode and the last one where the game doesn't want me to expand anymore. I keep losing infrastructure points. So I can't expand. <laughs> uh, explore again. You have gained some automated defenses. Ten mines, ten auto turrets, one flamethrower, one sniper turret. Holy shit, what happened here? A wealthy contact who supports your cause has sent you a large crate labeled Shoe Polish. Praying the crate open, or prying the crate open with your trusty crowbar, you see to your immense relief that it has actually contained several automated defenses ready to be used, ready to be added to what you already have. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I can't use it right now because I don't have enough points for it, but at least they're there ready to go. Sniper turrets, flamethrower ones. Ooh we haven't even unlocked those yet. That's awesome. Okay, cool. We'll keep it in mind. Alrighty, that was a good one. Now we maintain weapons and we in turn. No, no attack. Good. Alrighty. Let's see here. Let's go into... Let me build some more stations if we can. We're one turn away from the supply storage being up and running, mind you. And after that, we get the crystal farm, I said. So, for now, give me another basic workshop, I'm going to say. And... Another basic workshop here. Mind you, once we get the advanced ones unlocked, we can actually um, go ahead over here and demolish these guys over here. We'll get some money back for it, too. So, it's not the end of the world by, you know, just building some of these for now and then later on demolishing them and replacing them. Uh, let's do a stroll, I guess. Please, no more infrastructure. Nothing interesting happens. You know, I really want another infrastructure. So you know what? At this point, I'm not even going to risk it. Let's just maintain weapons and end our turn. And we will get some more auto turrets. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to risk it. I, I really need another piece of land here soon. We haven't expanded in a while. Research is done. Nice. Okay. Crystal farming. Oh. Well, luckily for us, Basic Lab's only one turn. So we'll get Basic Lab and then um, this one next over. Two turns now. Yeah, our science is going up now. Perfect. So th in three turns, we'll have both of those already available. Great. Um, <laughs> we're so close to another infrastructure that I'm going to risk it. So you know what? How about we do this from now on? Whenever we roll over to a new turn with zero infrastructure, that's when we explore. And then we just say fuck it whenever we have some points into it. And it's a great idea. Let's go and maintain weapons and end turn. I'm not going to risk it. No siree, Bob. Alrighty, good. 
Basic lab has opened up. Let's go into Crystal Farm. Great. So now we get some more crystals coming in every single turn. We have enough points to take over a building. Zombie pack and zombie burning. This is kind of really terrifying, but if we could actually get this area over here secured, we don't have to worry too much about what's happening. Oh, a zombie horde. Yeah, I think we need the turrets for that one. I'm going to risk this one here. But before we do, do you have anything over here that might... The shockwave is really useful. Essentially what happens is if, um, if everybody's already crowding the barricade, if you use this item, it pushes everybody back, like in a shockwave, obviously. It's called a shockwave after all. Um, it's a really useful item, but it's 1800, which is way more than we even have at the moment. So... You could say, Falcon, why don't you sell something and pick it up? Yeah, but I'm going to be completely broke. I don't want to be completely broke. Big Guns level 3, Big Guns 2. And you have Big Guns 2 as well. Accuracy, accuracy, saw blade. What are you costing? 660? 10 damage to barricade attackers. Could be useful. It's kind of like a cheaper variety of the shockwave, so sure. We'll take that one as well. Alrighty. Let's, um, we're gonna try to take over this one here because we can't let this pack get into like a horde of burning. That would be way too bad down the, lo the road. This is another way to actually take care of this spot too. So, let's, um, invade. Let's do it. Alrighty. We have grenades, we have saw blades, so let's, you know, we could use those whenever we need to. And let's make sure to keep reloaded for the burning zombies. Here we go. Oh, I'm good. Very nice. Use <laughs> that saw blade. You saw that was actually this is the first time I've used a saw blade, so that's pretty cool how it works. But oh my god. Oh my god. Grenades, please. Uh, saw blade, please. Okay. Fuck. I don't. I don't we're gonna lose this one. Fuck, we lost it. Alrighty, we didn't die at least. Oh man, we went through just about all of our items. Um, okay. Oof, that was, uh... At least we leveled up. I mean, on occasion you have to lose a couple of them to level up anyway, so this will, you know, help us in the long run, but oof. Losing Gonzalo right now would have been really terrible. Luckily, nobody died. Um, okay, so let's, um, I want to kind of get you up to Big Guns level 3, to be honest with you, but at the same time, what does Far Shot do? Uh, reduces range accuracy penalty. Range accuracy penalty is reduced by 20%. What's intuition? Chance of positive event encountering is increased by 10%. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> That's what we need. We need some intuition happening for our strolling over here. You know what? Fuck that. Pick that one up. I need that happening, man. That's the one I want. Okay, Gonzalo. Am I, like, wrong over here, or are we, like, not picking up these skills? Like, it says level 1, I just... One second here. There's something afoot over here, I'm not too crazy about it. Alright, so to be honest with you, I have no idea why I'm not getting my points now. And what's weird about it, too, is that, like, there's no other way, apparently, to come back and be like, okay, for some reason you didn't give me the points, so I can't destroy them. So, essentially, I'm, I'm like, gimped. Like, uh... We have acquired two levels, but I don't have the points for those levels, it doesn't seem. There's, like, no way for me to figure it out. This is just for the AI, which, um, tells you, like, what do you want it to do. Like, um, as a matter of fact, let's go into priority. Let's, um, prioritize near, whenever, like, dudes are at the barricades. And you go after the fast ones. Should be our main priority with the burning dudes, and then target wheat spot. No, don't even worry about that. You have a grenade launcher. So, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Like, um, there's no way for me to, like, you know, figure this out. I have gone through this entire thing here. This essentially would be where it's at, I, I, I guess, right? Like, if I send you over here, that's equipping you. That's to dismiss him right here. This is the AI we just did over here. Um, and I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, this, this can't be this fucking complicated, you know? There's, like, no, like, intricate menu system in this game. Everything's pretty much basic for you. This is the set member AI, which already did that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Even myself over here, like, I'm a level 3, but I'm missing easily two points, obviously. I have no idea what to tell you. Um, so I guess we'll try to figure it out next time I level up, I guess. I don't know. 
This is kind of shitty, though. Um, so let's try to take over this area again. Luckily, we have taken the zombies down, so there is that. Oh, wait, we shouldn't do that, though, because now the barricades are at one? If I'm right? Yeah, the barricades must be, like, at one over here. Fuck it. Sector oh, okay. It's too damaged for anybody to attack. Yeah, so we have to give it another turn, and then we can come back to it later. Which we want to, because now the zombies are few here, so we'll come back to it next turn, hopefully, and uh, bring them down. I hope the barricade goes up high enough, though, because there's still a few zombies and burnies over there remaining. Uh, so for now, let's take another stroll. I lost 108 credits. Swell! <laughs> and let's maintain in case we get attacked and turn. I, I'm really confused about that leveling system now. What the fuck is this? A tattered lab coat upon a stick. Thin man requests an appointment at his backyard. There he reveals an enormous device allegedly capable of disrupting the undead. Despite your, despite your protest, he powers up the device. The ground trembles and dark clouds accumulate in the sky overhead as the device groans and spins madly. What do you do? Well, this is the first for me. I have no idea what's happening right now. It's the apocalypse. How can it, how can it possibly get worse? And wait for the machine to finish? Or this has gone, fa gone too far? Shoot the damn thing before it eradicates the block. You know what? Let's go with the first one. Let's live a little bit. Surprised by the power of curiosity, you stand back and watch passively as the device summons a thick blanket of clouds up above. At the edge of the indescribable noise, you hear the scientist screaming something about some amount of jig gigawatts. <laughs> and at this point, the machine explodes, sending a shower of eel-shaped lightning slivers across the sky. You regain cautious consciousness soon after. The scientist lying next to you moans and sobs about the device not enduring the test. But what do you know? Before long, you hear reports about a curiosity-decreased activity of un and undead movements all around the city. The enemy will not have, will not move at all for one turn. Oh, cool. First time I've seen one of those events. Pretty neat. Oh, by the way, Crystal Farm is going to be done after this turn. Great. And these zombies will not attack, I think, for one turn. So, eh, it's not too bad. Uh, let's go into... Yeah, you see the infrastructure is only at 1 of 50. We still can't chance it because um, as long as one zombie gets to the perimeter, or the barricade, we're boned. So... We gotta give it a few more turns. I hope the zombies don't, you know, pile up even more. What we could do, though, let's see here. What do we have? One, one, and one. It's not too bad. This is actually a really good base to take over. One and everything, huh? Yeah, let's do this one right here. Military base. 386 and 18 credits. Great. And we found ourselves an energy weapon. Nice. We'll put this one right on over here. All right. And... 10 more points. Ooh, next level, or next turn, we'll get another area located as well. And we're up 13 of 20. Remember, all we have to do is gather like 20 of these um, hexes, and we will be done with this map, and we can proceed to another city. So there is that. Um, let's do... Mm -hmm. Let's take another stroll. Found a weapon mod. Uh, less recoil. Not too shabby. Let's go to the merchant. Oh, great. No grenades! Mm, take another stroll. What do you guys think? Oddly enough, we're getting a lot better luck now with the exploring. I wonder if maybe I am getting the points, but they're not showing up in the menu for the characters. That could be it. I gotta like maybe I gotta email the dev or something. Uh, we now have info on the unexplored on an unexplored sector, which is down here. One zero and one. That could be it. Like. Because it seems silly to me, it wouldn't give you the points. Maybe for some reason it gives you the points, but it doesn't, like, register it on the... Like, visually for you. Could be it. Um... Zombies will not attack this turn, we said, right? So... Let's explore one more time. Current research has been increased by 45 points. Meaning the crystal farm is done! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, so now we'll get some more crystals every single turn. What do we have here? Reveals exact enemy numbers and scattered sectors. That could be pretty useful. Only one turn of it unneeded as well. Crystal Farm 2. Improvement plus 1% to defense power. Okay. We have so much, like, science points now that we actually don't have to take too long researching some of the basic stuff over here, which is actually pretty neat. This will be for the mine defense. Here's a flamethrower one, too. Spend 2 AP to work for money. Ooh. How about that? That's not bad. I mean, it's a lot better in this fucking exploring thing we, we keep running into every single time. Let me open up the advanced trading post, though, and then um, we'll think about, oh, you know what? 
More items from the merchant would be nice, too. So let me open up the advanced trading post first for some money. Alrighty, cool. And that'll be two turns. Send our turn. And, ooh, nice. Let's toss these over here. Fortunately, they shouldn't attack this turn because they can't move, right? According to that event. Great. And in one turn, we'll have the advanced trading post. So we, could over we could also take over another area now. Let's um, scout through here. Lots of zombies. A horde of zombies, a few limpers. We have a crawlers in a pack. This is two of 50. We still need to give this a few more turns before we could actually try to take over it. Um, this is going to be a 001, 110, but that's next to this area here, which worries me. Nanobot factory. Let's do the nanobot factory. 328, 25 more credits. Great. Okay. Let's go into maintaining weapons in case we do get attacked this time. We'll end our turn. Toss that over here. And what do we got? No attack. And advanced training post is available now. So we can start now breaking down the basic ones and building the advanced ones as well. Summon mercenary. Spend 6 AP to call a mercenary to aid you in combat for one turn. Huh. Interesting. Increase team inventory by 3, Master Trading Post, Merchant Storage 2, and Summon Merchant. Spend 2 AP to summon a merchant, a different merchant with different stock is summoned each time. Ooh. That could be useful because sometimes we can't find grenades and those are really helpful, obviously. Let's get the Advanced Workshop up and running though. I think we need to start getting away from the basic stuff here. So we'll open that one up. And since we have some money, let's come over to this guy. And we can just upgrade him straight up. Ooh. What does this cost me? Upgrade selected improve, uh, improvement to six. It's going to cost me 650. Oh, upgrade all improvements? In all my own sectors? Are you kidding me? <gasps> That's awesome. So all of my plus one economies will turn into advanced ones. Yeah. All of them. Go for it. 1300. So everything that we had now with the... Like, for instance, these guys. That's a level two over here. Level two. Sweet. Now, I wonder how much money it would cost for the production one. This one's going to cost more. We won't find out because we have to wait two more turns, but that's going to cost a lot more because I know we have a lot more of those than we do have the trading post around the sectors. So, um, right now I guess building up money would be really important. Let me do a stroll here. Come on, good luck. Nope. Enemy speed is increased by 10% for one turn. Please don't attack me next turn. Stroll again. Enemy stealing more than one damage will deal one less damage per turn. Yes! It's a good one. Um, haha. Uh -huh. Stroll again. Found a piece of equipment. Nice! A plus 15 to economy! Fuck yeah! Yeah, you come over here and hang out. Look at that, we went up to 27. <laughs> 675 credits per turn. Speaking of which, let's sell some of the shit that we have over here. You still don't have any grenades? God damn, dude. Breaking my balls. Uh, let me see about selling off... Energy weapons? What do you guys think? Level 3 one? Eh. Get on out of here. We need some money for when we have to do the upgrades to the trading shop anyway. So we'll do one more stroll and then we maintain weapons for the possible attack. Nothing happened. Maintain and turn. Please don't attack. Please don't attack. Don't do it. No attack. But zombies in a lot more places. Luckily we're six sectors away from moving over to the next city. So we're going to wrap it up here for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it with a thumbs up. Leave a like to support us a lot. I have to look into whether my idea of this not registering is correct or maybe it's just bugged. Or maybe I'm an idiot and I'm sort of somehow missing something really obvious, but I've gone through everything. But I'll look into it. Um, I should have an answer for you guys in maybe an episode or two. So, um, you know, let me remind me about that. <laughs> Somebody remind me because I will forget. I will catch you next time.